Shorji Nagohinda Baji. My name is Nagohinda. My English name is Mosa Frost. My ancestors came from the land of Ubuntu Gochin, a territory far stretching the reaches of the north above the Arctic Circle. Ubuntu Gochin means people of the lakes. The creation stories tell of the Gochin and the Caribou sharing a piece of each other's hearts. Even to this day, we remain connected to the land because that is what we are the water, the air, all my relations all that gives us life. These are the traditional teachings that have been passed down for generations. One of the most important lessons was, and still is, adapting to the land and to change. The elders have been telling us for years that hard times are coming and to be prepared. What do we need to prepare us for the future? This is our journey to find out. This winter, Arctic Health Research Network and Bantukuchin First Nation, with the help of Health Canada, provided an opportunity for Gwich'in youth and students to take part in a unique learning experience. The youth were brought to Old Crow Yukon to take part in a climate change symposium, which included workshops, circle talks, and roundtable discussions on the effects of climate change on our land and health. After months of hard work and preparation, we were finally there in Bantukuchin land. You could feel the power of our ancestors with every step, every breath, every sight. They are here with us, guiding us as they always have. The whole community came out for the event. We are preparing ourselves for what the elders call hard times and that inevitable change that awaits us. Everyone is excited and anxious to share their knowledge and embark on this new experience. What is this going to mean for our food security when we know that we cannot survive on market free foods alone, which leads to chronic diseases? So therefore, we as a community have to look very quickly here as to how we're going to work with some of these results and be able to put it into force with our own strategies. So that's why we're bringing the kids here this week. We're getting you guys to talk to them. We're getting TK experts, traditional knowledge experts from the community to talk with the kids. Um, like, what are we going to do in our little community or locally with all this going on? People in the community have, have really stressed the need for more research, uh, longer term, and, and um, more community involvement. My children, where have you gone now? So distracted. Here we go, Keeper. a long way to go. They were telling us that this is just a start. This is just a start of um, the changes that are going to happen. A lot of traditional knowledge as well as scientific knowledge that you're now, you know, bringing in and mixing in um, and, and learning from different skills out on the land. It's our natural instinct to rely heavily on the land because it's a part of us as a person. It's, it can, it's very connected to our well-being. We will try to prepare you for, for that hard time coming. This precedent-setting event is the first step. Gucci youth were brought together with traditional knowledge experts and world leaders in climate change and health to share knowledge and traditional teachings amongst each other. To create or destroy, contaminate or purify before the waters run dry. My name is Alpha Charlie. I'm an elder. I'm a crow.
Arctic Health Research Network are continuing their work with Gwich'in Youth and the community of Old Crow to provide strategic planning training on food security options as well as film training. Thank you.